Hey, welcome back. It's good to see you. Episode 4, finally, of the Model Rocket Launch Controller. We're in my bat cave, and um, I have a good friend with me. His name is Kevin. Kevin is the one who commissioned this project. Uh, Kevin, would you like to say a few words? Yeah, it's been very exciting to see this whole project come along, uh, along the stages. I've been working with Stuart a lot, uh, talking about requirements and making sure it works the right way, and it's also safe for anybody who's being using it. Um, it's going to be great to have it for our launch days. Uh, I do model rocketry as a hobby of mine on the side, uh, so it's going to be uh, really neat to have something more than your standard store-bought rocket launcher to, yep. to bring to the field to do the launches. It's also going to be really cool for our Cub Scout pack uh, when we have our, our annual rocket day to have something really cool that you know, yeah. you're flipping switches, pushing Make buttons, sounds. And making yeah. sounds back at yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, and again, better than the, the little rocket controller yeah. you usually have. It has, adds a whole lot to it. It takes a whole nother, nother yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, well, stay tuned. We're actually going to build the case finally, <laughs> and we're going to go out in the field and... Uh, and shoot off some rockets. All right, stay tuned. All right, so to make our case, we're gonna use the Pelican, as we mentioned. Uh, I've got this scrap piece of pine wood. It's got a nice flat surface. What I'm gonna do is cut it into small chunks uh, so I can make a flat surface around the Pelican case on the inside. Uh, we're gonna use these little nubs, make a little shelf, and we're just gonna put these pieces of pine in between some of these to have a, a flat surface to place our sheet of ABS. will be cut down to size to go and rest on top of there. Uh, and when I say rest, we're going to be using it, uh, we're going to be attaching it using Velcro strips so that way we can get in and out if we need to change the batteries, if we want to change the uh, SD card for a different set of audio files. So you're using that uh, block. What is that for? This one on top here is to give me a, a flat surface to press the, the bomb permanent uh, brace against. So it's going from either pieces that are already glued in or from one of these little struts to uh, the other to give so me. It's making it level. Making it level all the way around, yeah. Okay. So are you using hot glue to uh, mount them? Yeah, it's, it's a nice quick setting glue. Uh, that way I don't need to hold it in place for very long. Alright, so the first part of getting our case modified for the rocket launcher control system is, is complete. Uh, we've got the little supports all around the perimeter of the inside of the case to hold up our ABS sheet, which will have all of our controls uh, mounted inside of it. So the next step is to cut this down, uh, make it so it'll fit inside. All right, so we have our control board bezel uh, cut down to size. It's fitting in there very nicely. Uh, to get it open right now, we gotta use a little spudger tool. Uh, it comes off, you can see we've got the hardware kind of resting inside, just kind of get an idea for spacing right now. So what we'll do is we'll glue the PCB down with all of its connectors. Uh, we glued in place, and we'll use Velcro to put the battery packs in their position so they can be changed out in the field uh, very easily if we need to. All right, cool. And then uh, the top part is where obviously the uh, buttons and everything will go, and we'll start laying that out afterwards. We'll start laying that out in a little bit here, uh, where everything's going to go, and then we'll start drilling some holes when those right. feed through. All right, cool. Yep, just working on some spacing for the last few elements to be mounted on here. So we got the speaker with a potentiometer for volume left, the three ready state buttons and their LEDs. We've got the, the hookups for the, the leads that go to the rockets. The pad is clear. Is clear. Weather clear. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. And we have launch. Yep. There we go. Let it reset. Yep. Right. Let's test the scrub real quick. That is clear. We have a scrub. Oh, cool, cool. All right, well, the case looks pretty good. Yeah, it came out very nice. Yep. Very clean looking. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Good job, Kevin. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for all your hard work on this. Awesome. You too, man. thank you. All right. Well, we'll be doing more projects together, hopefully. Yes. Green. Actually, man, you can watch the green this spider. I'll watch yellow. Keep an eye out. The 
That is clear. The range oh, is clear. Oh, the sun's in the gray. Great. Weather clear. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. And we have <laughs> Oh, I jumped. Okay. Two, one. Whoa. Well, we went and did some field testing. What you saw is some successes. What you didn't see are the failures. Let's take a look at those now. Should I go? Go. All right, go then. Press it. Hold it. And we have launch. Or do we? <laughs> No. Or do we? No. <laughs> and we have launch. <laughs> so I believe the failures <coughs> are related to the timing of the igniter circuitry. How long we actually send current down the igniter. It was set for three seconds in those examples. Um, <clears throat> I've changed it. So now as long as you're holding safety and launch together, um, you'll continue to feed current into it until you release one or both of those buttons. That should address any issues. So with that, this project is over. <clears throat> the KiCad files and the source code files are available down below in the description you'll find a link to them um, you're free to do whatever you want with them they're yours enjoy change fork modify enhance make the whole thing better I would love to hear about anything that you do with it um, and with that I'd also like to remind you that we have more projects coming up we're going to be doing quite a few different electronic projects um, if you haven't subscribed please consider it if you don't want to, don't continue to watch. I don't really care that much. It's all about having fun and learning. Remember, learn something new every day. Stay tuned. Thank you. Have fun.